Britain's Got Talent winner, Lost Voice Guy. Picture, Tom Diamond, Psycho, Thames ITV comedian Lost Voice Guy has won Britain's Got Talent, pocketing £250,000 and winning a spot at the Royal Variety Performance. The funny man, from Consit, has cerebral palsy, and uses pre-recorded sentences on a computer for his stand-up act, dazzled the audience and judges with his hilarious routine in the grand final, which saw him poke fun at his disability. He said as his win was announced, I have been blown away by the support of the judges and the general public. The comic, whose name is Lee Ridley, said he was really grateful for all the love he had received. He joked, I'm very excited to perform in front of the Queen. I've loved her since she sang Bohemian Rhapsody, the panel had been full of praise for the performer, who is from Newcastle, with Alicia Dixon saying he would inspire so many people, and David Williams saying he had turned a negative, losing his voice, into something positive. Judge Simon Cowell said after the results that he was thrilled to see him win. You so deserved this, he said. Comic Robert White was runner-up of the ITV show and singer Don Shay Dakers was third. A total of 11 acts competed in the final. 10 made it through during this week's live semi-finals and one act, the B-Positive Choir, were picked as the judges' wild card. The show opened with a hilarious song and dance routine that saw presenter Declan Donnelly showing off his own acrobatic trick, a handstand. Highlights of the evening included a moving performance from the D-Day Darlings, who sing tracks from the Second World War era. They brought down the house with a moving rendition of There'll Be Blue Birds Over, the White Cliffs of Dover, which ended with them being joined on stage by a group of veterans. Cowell called it amazing. Comedian Mickey Peeker had a bit of a shock when the judges told him that tennis player Andy Murray's mum Judy, the butt of one of his jokes during his semi-final performance, was in the audience. The Jiang brothers wowed the audience with a daring leap that they had never completed without a safety harness before the final. The brothers, from Vietnam, made it through to the final with their acrobatic show, which sees one carry the other on his head as he walks upstairs. During the final the pair stepped it up a notch and the acrobat jumped from a step onto a platform with his brother on his head. Williams said it was beyond beyond, while Amanda Holden said they were utterly extraordinary. The final also included performances from the West End cast of Tina, the musical and the cast of Vegas show Magic Mike, which was introduced by Magic Mike Channing Tatum. Tatum first appeared in a video message, then made a surprise appearance on stage after the Magic Mike live performance to announce that the production was coming to London. The final wrapped up a week of live shows presented by Donnelly, who was without his presenting partner and McPartland for the first time in the program's history. The TV duo appeared together in the audition episodes as they were recorded before McPartland stepped back from his presenting commitments when he was charged with drink driving earlier this year. He was banned from the road for 20 months and fined £86,000 after pleading guilty to driving while more than twice the legal limit. Cowell praised Donnelly for the way he had handled the live shows alone. You have done an outstanding job this week, he said. Who is the comic known as Lost Voice Guy? The 37-year-old funny man has cerebral palsy, using a machine called a light rider to speak. But his disability did not stand in the way of his hilarious stand-up act, in which he uses pre-recorded sentences on a computer, becoming the first comedian to win the show in its 12-series history. He studied journalism at the University of Central Lancashire and worked for Sunderland City Council's communications team, the BBC and local newspapers including the Sunday Sun and the Evening Chronicle.
Ridley now works as a full-time comedian. He got his first big break at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, where he first performed in 2013. A year later, he scooped the BBC New Comedy Award, previously won by comedy legends Alan Carr and Peter Kay. On the back of the prize, Ridley earned a BBC Radio 4 sitcom, Ability. With his brand of self-deprecating humor, Ridley won the hearts of the nation with his appearances on BGT, gently poking fun at his own disability. Unwinning, he joked he was very excited to perform in front of the Queen, saying, I've loved her since she sang Bohemian Rhapsody.